Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in, I appreciate it. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. It is a rather blustery day here in New England, so I'm going out later, getting ready for my birthday weekend, so I'll be bundling up. I hope it's not too chilly to wear a dress this Sunday, but we will see. Um, you know, members, I'll definitely put, in, I'll be putting some pictures up. Um, and also members, I will be uh, making on demand last night's seminar of psychic development. Anytime you join membership, the videos just are all on demand. I think there's something like 18 or 19 classes at this point that you get just for the bare minimum uh, membership, not to mention all the lives and the channelings and all that that we do. So, you know, check out membership. I always put the link below the videos. Um, so we're looking at a very serious subject today and I'm coming on today, you know, here it is Friday, uh, to talk about something that we're all bracing for. And that is the video of Tyree Nichols and that police stop. So if you don't know, he was a young man, 29 years old in Memphis on January 7th of this year, he was pulled over. He succumbed to his injuries by these five Memphis policemen, um, three days later. Uh, he had extensive bleeding, um, you know, caused by, by a beating, you know, that was the, you know, prognosis after the, um, the autopsy. So this is serious indeed. Um, when I go into that energy, I do get, cause I know that he complained of shortness of breath. And the thing that I get overwhelmingly is my head and I get my lower back. And it makes me feel really nauseous, like I can't breathe, I can't get air in. And so I'm almost wondering if they hit that part of his brain that controls um, his heart, his breathing. But I'm also definitely getting lower back. Um, you know, there's a lot there, like I know your kidneys are there, that sort of thing. Um, I am getting that there was definitely some issues with organs. So I think he actually was harmed to that level where we're going beyond muscle and bone. Okay, so I think this video is going to be very um, telling and upsetting. So his mother, uh, uh, Rowan Wells, she's asking, you know, for peaceful protests. Obviously, she's heartbroken. You know, I mean, this is her son. You know, her son was a father. Um, he was somebody that enjoyed life. He enjoyed skateboarding that they were talking about. Um, you know, I believe he had a son. And I, I think they're trying to keep some of the information about his child or children private at this point, which I can totally respect. Um, I am going to be talking about the, the five officers, very similar to what I did with the George Floyd case. And if you remember, I was correct about that, that not all officers would be charged the same. And it would take a while. I didn't see it being a swift process. And if you remember right, I did say uh, Derek Chauvin would get the the greater the greater sentence out of all of them, and so that all did come true. And so let's just take a look at this. Um, per usual, I'm not going to use their last names because I don't think that we should. I don't think we should try to glorify these people in any way. But for me to identify them to you, I have to say something. Um, so usually when I do these kinds of things, I try not to lose use last names. Um, but I think, you know, with Derek Chauvin, it was just all over the news, Derek Chauvin, you know, every five minutes, it was all over the place. So, but I try not to use last names when I, when I cannot do it. Um, also too, you know, President Biden is calling for calm during this, but he's also call, uh, calling for, and I wrote this down, a swift, full and transparent investigation. So it's nice to see that we have a president this time that is willing to look at this issue and, um, take it seriously. You know, because something has to change, right? We can't keep doing this. And so I did want to mention, I will do a reading on this uh, after I look at the five officers and all that, that um, I, I do think that there's going to be very violent protests this weekend. So please be careful. You know, if you join a protest or if you're in a city, please be careful. But the other thing that my guides was showing me is this is having a global, a worldwide impact and that there's going to be pockets here and there globally where there's also protests regarding this. And so this tells me that this is important for us um, as a collective at this time. And that I think some positive changes are going to come from it. 
even though is it, you know, it's never fast enough, is it? You know, and that's one thing you guys always say to me, you know, why can't this just all happen quicker? And I, I wish it could, but you know, I just tell you what I get. That's it. Um, so I do think there's going to be a lot of repercussions. Let me just emphasize that. I will take a look at that, but please, you know, be careful this weekend. Okay. Um, including myself, you know, my, my brother's actually saying to me, because we are going into a city, um, you know, for my birthday, Michael and I, and he is preferring that I don't go. And, and I was like, you know what? I've asked my guides. I've looked at the cards. I'll be okay. Um, you know, it, things can be happening around me. Cause you have to remember too, you can raise your vibration of that around you so that you don't get harmed. Right. So, you know, just like I said, be careful. Um, the other thing that I did want to mention is I did get a glimpse uh, this morning in meditation of his crossing over. Because a, a lot of you know that I do mediumship work. You know, I run a mediumship circle every month for members. And it was a very, like, quick exit. I don't think he actually suffered the whole three days. I, I don't think he was actually really in his body. I think it was more of like he was pulling in and out, pulling in and out, and then he just went. That's that's kind of what I get. Like, I don't think he was in there the whole entire time, which, you know, I think that's sort of like uh, a very merciful thing that happens. I see a lot when people pass is that we don't feel the full extent of our suffering sometimes. You know, plus, I think that they were keeping him very comfortable with medications too, physically as much as they could. You know, it, that's it, as much as you can. Right. In that circumstance. Um, the other thing is I wasn't getting any big, deep, profound messages from him. And what I got from my guides is that he is in that healing center on the other side, right? That place that we go to where you get cocooned with love and light by angels and you heal because he really didn't want to go, even though, you know, I understand we write soul contracts and we have exit points and all of that. There was a big part of him that wasn't ready to leave this earth. And so he is grappling with that. Um, I think he took on a very selfless incarnation because I do think good is going to come out of this. But I mean, what a sacrifice for him to have paid for that. And so, you know, hopefully, you know, he'll be the last one. You know, let's hope, let's, you know, send our good intentions out into the world that we don't have to keep doing these readings all the time. So let's look at the first person. Um, his name is Tadarius. So I'm just going to focus in on his energy. Okay. Okay, so he's going to get like some kind of an offer. So first of all, he didn't do this by himself, right? I mean, this didn't happen in a vacuum. You can't say just one officer did this, right? But look at what his obstacle is. So in like from his point of view, he's not getting justice because there's something about him that feels justified in his role in this. OK, so that tells me justice is coming for him, but he will get made an offer. There is an offer coming his way. So same thing with the George Floyd case. I don't see them all getting the same deal. I don't. And so to Darius, you know, he's getting something, but he's. He's going to have to make some tough decisions about what it is he wants to do. So Demetrius is the next one. And also, too, in the comments, put what you're thinking and feeling. And, you know, maybe let's get some prayers going. Okay. So first of all, yes, he is indeed going to court. He is going to be feeling that long arm of the law, so to speak. Um, oh, okay. So he's feeling imprisoned. He's feeling stuck. He's feeling trapped like, boy, I can't get out of this. Okay, so he's going to have a much harder time than Tadarius. Um, here he is getting no support, fighting on a hill all by himself. Okay, so he would be getting um, a harsher sentence indeed. If you see me looking over there, my cat Annie just walked in. Um, she does seem to like it when I get into like that meditative state where I do readings and, you know, much like all of your pets do. Um, okay, next is Justin. Let's take a look at him. 
and we are going to end this video with an archangel three card pull because i think we need to end on a high note because today's energy is very very heavy and you know let's remember um to treat ourselves well today you know but send compassion out at the same time okay so justin not as bad uh i'm wondering if financially if he's like in a better position he can get the better lawyer that sort of thing uh, but there's something about money with him but once again look at his obstacle he is not getting support that he thought okay so he isn't um then also the card of like okay hopes and dreams coming true and i think it's from his perspective so i would say he would be getting the lighter sentence out of you know so far the three that we've read um because the thing is you know no matter what not all of them played all the same roles right so they're not going to be looked at as a group they're looking they're being looked at as you know individuals uh the fourth one is emmett mm, i feel like i need to shuffle a little more hang on Um, I don't know why, but my skin is actually getting like cold when I go into his energy. Um, there's something there I really don't like. Okay, and look at the first card. The tower. Yeah, everything's falling apart for him. Um, I don't see anything good coming his way. His obstacle. He can't work his magic. He can't have this new beginning. He can't just move forward and do what he wishes. And then his outcome is he is going to reap what he has sown. So I, I think so far out of the four that we've done, this is pretty serious. Um, he's going to get a more serious sentence. And then the last one is Desmond. He has like profound anxiety right now. He is stressing. So he gets the judgment card. All right. So not a great start if you're looking towards, you know, a, a legal case, right? So if from his perspective, this isn't great. Um, for the sake of the Nichols, you know, and the, the Nichols family and everybody um, that loved Tyree, this is a good thing. Okay. The obstacle is going to be that the judge is very uh, passionate, enthusiastic. This is a judge that cares, okay? And he ends up, my cards are sticking here. Um, he ends up very conflicted. There's a, a lot of fighting and um, just, I, I get like loud noise. Why am I getting such loud noise around him? Like just yelling, shouting, everybody's going back and forth, back and forth. Let me pull one more card. He, again, not getting the support that he thought. So I'm wondering if they're thinking that, like, the police union is just going to bail them out and that's it. And that's, you know, end of story. Um, the cards are saying, no, that isn't what's going to happen. Um, I do want to take a look at the protests that are coming up this weekend. What do we need to know as Americans? I'm looking at the United States. Okay. Okay. So things aren't quite planned yet. Okay. Things might be in the works, but nothing's been planned yet. Okay. So it's going to happen. Here's the obstacle. Here's the card of stability, practicality, reliability, um, things being steadfast, right? So what's the opposite of that? Well, turmoil and chaos, which is what we were expecting um this is one of my cards for the u.s right and so i think that is just indicative of you know like yeah i'm reading on the united states um but you know spirits just validating it for me 
And then I get the card of stress, worry, and anxiety. So this, these protests, a lot of them are not going to be peaceful. Let me go out one more. Um, a lot of, in terms of violence, you don't really want this card, right? So yeah, I, I do think that there is going to be a bit of violence. Um, let's take it out a little bit further and look at the world before I do my Archangel pull. Oh, why the card? Oh, the cards are so jumpy. They're very jumpy for looking at the world. Okay, so yeah, there's going to be some protests worldwide. Five of Wands. All right, that's because that's what I was getting. Um, there's there's turmoil. There's fighting. There's arguing. You know, because people aren't feeling supported, right? They're not feeling like they're getting what they need from our governments, um, our policemen, our judicial system. So they're ready to fight. <sighs> Interesting. I'll pull two last cards. One is the Queen of Cups. And so she, this is like very um, emotionally charged. So worldwide, that, because not all of these have worldwide impacts. Um, I don't know why I got, I got the message that this would so... This has some kind of worldwide impact and people are going to ask for things to be more balanced and fair. So, yeah, um, I think this is going to be a, a very um, eventful weekend. So let's finish up with a three card Archangel pull. I'll just give them a little shuffle. While I'm shuffling, take a deep breath, center yourself and just ask yourself, what do the angels want you to know today? What do the angels want you to know today? Okay, so we have three cards here. And just go to whatever one you're drawn to. One, two, or three. Go with your instinct. It's not a cerebral exercise. Here we go. Card one is page of Michael. And it says, an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. So yeah, this is like you getting some um, good news right? And it could have something to do with the written or the spoken word. So just keep that in mind, but you have what it takes. Card number two is Archangel Sandalfin, the angel of music. The search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. So yeah, you're at that point in your life where you're starting to question things on a deeper level. And um, you're asking about like, what is the meaning of life? What's my life purpose? What's my mission? And um, what you're doing is okay, but now you need to try something else. So if you've been meditating one way, try it another way. It's that sort of thing. And then card number three is Archangel Jeremiah, which is also the wheel. And it says, new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. So really nice messages, everybody. Um, you know, please stay safe. And I'll be, members, I'll be posting some videos from uh, my birthday um, on Sunday. I, I, I may not post them till Monday though, okay? But all right, everyone, have a beautiful and safe weekend. Bye.